Hey guys, how are you? Good, thank you. How are you doing? Good, thank you very much. Very wet in London, I have to say, but you know, we endeavour to continue. Uh, <laughs> congratulations that's why California was invented. Sorry. Indeed, yeah. Uh, congratulations on the show. This is ridiculously up my street and I've had to pace myself because I don't want to overblow myself on like binging it too too much so congrats on that <laughs> thank you uh Blake I wanted to Blake I wanted to start with you I've spoken to so many writers over the years of you know books or adaptation and everything else and sometimes they've been part of the process and sometimes they haven't I just wondered for you how exciting it was to be part of the process and to be part you know do the showrunner thing and everything else for something that's you know been a, a big book and a big impact on so many people's lives it was an amazing creative experience, probably the the best creative experience that I've ever had. And at the same time, it was the most challenging. Um, it was scary. It was, I went into it not sure like what this was going to become, but I knew that I had to do this because I loved the book. I knew a lot of people loved the book. Um, I've been generally fortunate in my adaptations, uh, the ones I haven't been as involved in, but I have so many novelist friends. I've just watched them create this beautiful baby and then someone takes it and places it in the interstate and we just watch trucks drive over it. <laughs> and I was like, I can't let that happen to Dark Matter. Or if it does happen, it has to be my fault. <laughs> uh, Matt, for you, I know you've worked on some of these big movie Spider-Man and obviously we work on Venom, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Does this show in terms of what it entails and what you might have done back particularly with the amazing Spider-Man, does this does this scratch a creative itch for you? Because it kind of is close to some of the stuff that you may have done in, a, in, a, in an alternate universe, shall we say. It, it Nicely done. Um, it does. <laughs> I mean, I love science fiction and I but but more than that, you know, I love I love great characters. I love stories about characters in sort of heightened and extraordinary circumstances. And, you know, to me, you know, that's what comic books have always been about. And 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 it's easy to imagine Dark Matter as a graphic novel. I mean, I've I've always sort of thought that, you know, it, it could have been quite by the way, it's not a terrible idea. Um I'm kidding. But it, you know, it 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 lends itself to that because it is about very relatable, very human characters in extraordinary circumstance that allows us to, you know, feel something and also not necessarily absorb all of all of the pain of it. I think that's the escape, the the fun of the the escape of comics, and 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 this book does both things. It it isn't something yet that any of us has has necessarily lived through, but the. But the emotional journey of the characters in this family are so relatable, and so yes, familiar itch, but but in a in a very very different way, and and uh, with you know my favorite collaborator, so that also makes it. <laughs> yeah, and I love sci-fi, and some well, some of the best sci-fi are the ones like you say, the ones that that can have a great concept, but not the kind of the inner workings, if you like, the emotions and the humanity and all that kind of stuff. But with this, I found it to be so compelling in terms of the human story at the at the center of it. Did doing it as a TV show allow you to explore that a little bit more than if you had done it as potentially as a as a film? Because over a limited series, you get a bit more time to kind of flush out all of that stuff. Oh yeah, we we started yeah. this as a feature film, and oh, okay. it became apparent painfully quickly that uh, it, you just lose all the humanity from it. You, you know, you what do you? There's so many darlings that have to be killed, and when you kill too many of them, the it loses the essence of what it is, which is this human story about characters looking back and wondering, what if? What if I'd taken this road instead of the other? And in the film, like, <laughs> page 10, Jason's abducted. Page 20, well, I'm not gonna say that because that'd be a big spoiler, but we were just losing everything that we loved about it. Uh, and it was a, mm. one of the greatest phone calls I've ever gotten when you called me and said, hey, we can take this to TV now. And you're, I remember seeing the announcement of who you had as your, part of your cast and any cast that has Jennifer Connelly and Joe Edgerton. I mean, there's a big tick for, for so many people. Um, tell me about bringing them into the project and also all the other amazing, amazing people you've got in this show. Because it seems the project has garnered such an amazing cast for you. You know, we, it, it was so incredible. Um, we didn't even start casting Jason. It was an incoming call from Joel. We had not begun our casting process yet. I think Joel had read the book and had heard there was a show in the works. And so we Zoomed a couple times with him and just immediately realized, wow. I mean, we knew that he was this incredible actor, but just such a, such a thoughtful human being. And, and weirdly, you need that to play this role because the role has so much humanity in it. I think you 
the actor who's gonna do it had to have that, and, and Joel has that in spades. And it's one of those things where you get that first actor and then that people wanna work with, and then the dominoes just start to fall. And then, of course, Jennifer Connelly was always top I mean, of our yeah, list. And you, you, you think about Jennifer Connelly, I mean, she's an icon, and, and, and it also, and it, it, it's hard not to give away things in the show, so I don't wanna, I don't wanna be a spoiler, but you need, we needed, Jennifer Connelly, but we needed someone who um, took up that kind of space in this story because of what it is a story about finding her in many ways, and 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 mm -hmm. and she becomes a real beacon mm -hmm. um, of truth and in in this in this journey, um, and a and and also incredibly nuanced, and so you need somebody who can also play the different iterations of the character and uh you know we, it, it happens once in a blue moon when you're working on something that you you end up with with sort of your dream cast and and, yeah. and that happened fantastic guys i can't wait to watch more thank you so much for your time I thanks talking to you. nice talking to you thank you ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys hey you guys <laughs> hey you guys <laughs> Hey, that's what they all say. Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys!